Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Arkham City. So, we basically spent a couple of extra hours of gameplay uh, running around the overworld to get to this point, and then spent about 20 extra minutes trying to get into this area. Like, very difficult to just remember that you have to hit this to open this a little bit, then you have to remember the run and slide um, ability we're looking for mr. freeze but apparently the penguin is looking for mr. freeze also and let's see Joker's crew are still outside mr. Cobblepot good make sure it stays that way no problem I listen up boss wants this place held tight no one Who's is this guy? Up. You see what a Joker's Who's crew wanted? Waste them. What about Batman? <laughs> Kill him too. Just like that? Just like that. So it seems like a couple of people are specifically wanted in this old like? Gotham what? Police Department. You know and see, you, you're just always going to constantly be in this, this detective mode. And I imagine we're gonna come out here. All I know is wants it. See, I don't even know if there are any riddles that we've even found for this area yet, so... Like, it's kind of pointless to even try and look here. Yeah, there's like four Riddler trophies in this entire area. There's two exits. It seems like it's a fairly small area once again. It's not here! Let's get this straight. Are you telling me that you are all so incompetent that you need me to come Look down these and help you search our room? Uh, no, I, I mean... Well, it sounds like that's what you're saying. Please, M Mr. Cobblepot, hmm. I, I didn't mean it. Hmm. We'll find it. Oh, yeah, one last thing. I hear Batman's coming your way. Good luck. <laughs> See, that's a very odd voice choice for... For a cobble pot. That's totally not what I was like expecting at all. Right. Apparently you can't tag things when you are scan when you're crouching down. That's weird. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like there's any hostages so it seems to me like this is a case where we once again are going to be asked to take on a lot of armed guards so you really would just be completely out of luck in this game if you had not if you'd like determined to play this on hard mode and uh, and you hadn't upgraded any of your bullet armor uh, like I'm gonna have almost certainly a struggle just getting to getting to the point where I can actually beat this level even on normal mode Like, we, we had sequences in the first game that was like this, where you were in a fairly large area, uh, and you were supposed to be able to take out multiple people, although I feel like in this instance it's even more difficult. This definitely feels like they are straight up trying to do the same sequence that existed in the first game just which seems unnecessary all right because i i don't have the like i don't have that ability to do a vertical takedown Hmm. 
Yeah. So it basically wants you to sneak up on people. And I don't know which people I could even really sneak up on. In a lot of ways it feels like the game would like you to just sneak your way through an area and not even take on these characters and I don't think that's the real goal here. And the, you don't have like some kind of joker toxin or anything that could drive these ca guys crazy uh, and make them fight amongst each other. You can sure you can let's see if we can do this penguins keeping track of his crew using heartbeat monitors he'll know each time i take someone out i need to move quickly i'm one man down that's not good is it still i'm sure the rest of you will do your best not to disappoint me you heard what the penguin said, right? Over here! Now! I found someone! <laughs> hey! Wake up, man! Come on! Wake up! So, are these guys knocked out forever? Or have we... How does he keep doing this? Just What's opted... Shut the hell up! We need to keep looking or we're all dead. Show yourself, chicken. I see, like, the thing if I think you do now is you'd probably want to... He's here, Mr. Cobblepot. ...convince Batman's them. Here. Keep them busy. I'll shut down all access to the GCPD. He's not going anywhere. You're supposed to be good at this. He's making you look like idiots! See, yeah, and then they want me to move fast? I don't know how you move fast here. Like, that that doesn't make sense. Where the hell did he Okay, so we can do inverter takedowns. Uh, making us look stupid. How's he doing it? Leave them. We've got more important things to be looking out for. This isn't going to work, you know. We'll find you and kill you. And I hit the wall with the smoke pellet, so that didn't work. He used some kind of smoke. Hmm. So yeah, you can't really do the inverted takedown so much. Like, you really are having well, the rush. Look who it is. This will teach you for trying to steal from me. You guys go. I'll be along soon. Huh? See, all I can. Please, I give up. Look at me. I'm dropping my weapon. Right. You so we've got me. a thug that we can interrogate when near. Which. Near is a very freeze. relative term. He's in the museum. Penguins got him. I'll have to cut that tongue out of your head, boy. I don't know people telling tales on me. No. I I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. He, he made me tell him. See, so you can't control the camera right here. I'm safe and sound here in my museum. Try and get me if you like. I've got plenty of surprises ready for you if you do. Starting right now. So that doesn't sound good. We get some explosion sounds. Like I, I don't even think there's Riddler things to deal with. 
Yeah, I don't know if that device actually does anything. Or if we're gonna have to like thaw some things out. Let's see. I don't know. It seems like there's just a button here that does nothing. Hmm. Like when we look at the map, I guess that is pretty much just this. This one room was the entire building. So. Yeah. They do seem like they are trying to make this all much less of an of a of a challenge whereas there was much larger buildings with much uh, which with connected rooms and I kind of get it that this this makes it so that once you're in a building you only really have to deal with that one puzzle and that one puzzle only the, the problem with that idea, of course, is that you would then need three or four different, uh, three or four times as many rooms and buildings in your open world, and I, I just don't think that's the case. We, we've walked around the museum uh, parts of the, of the world, uh, of the open world, and we already saw that, and if... Can you even bring up the overworld? Uh, yes. So, it seems to me like there's probably about nine buildings when there probably should be about 27 buildings. Uh, hmm. And then there's still four Joker trophies. You just really have no reason to ever like play outside of detective mode and see the graphics and that was constantly an issue with 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 games anyways is that with, with the Arkham Asylum game is that you just never have a reason to really play alright well that's one how would one get into that area? You'd get in through the wall and you would get in through that, through that door. So we now know, hmm. Well, why is that not mapped on the map? Did I not scan it? Oh, you have to hold it down a lot longer than I thought you did, interesting. So there's very possibly several places where I've seen a Riddler trophy and not opted to actually scan it. Hmm. Yeah, you still have to stand on three things though and we, we have like no mode that makes that make sense Alfred hello sir hm. have you retrieved the cure hm. from Mr. Freeze there were complications hm. Penguin has got his hands on Freeze and trapped me in the GCPD building you do realize hm. that you will actually die if you don't get this cure soon. Thanks for reminding me, Alfred. I'm in a police building. Cobblepot's obviously bribed some official into giving him the lock codes for the municipal structures. I'm downloading the unlock codes right now. So you have to have this... this, um... story mode event happen until you have the unlock codes. So now I should be able to use the crypto device and hack it and this is different so 
Um, this dissect. So you just move the left stick and the right stick uh, to unlock things. Interesting. So then we can just use this. It's funny because it really is just a simplistic lock picking mechanic, but it's depicted in a very different way. But I can't imagine that that's going to be the thing that lets us activate, say, things up here. Yeah, that, that would be fairly crazy if it was stand on this and then activate your crypto scanner. Nope, it just comes back into... That, the inmates are running that same mode. So there should be two more in this building somewhere. One of which you can't reach to get to the morgue. Hmm. Which arguably means maybe I can't do anything. Maybe the other things are just in the morgue. Do you have a weird, like, flickering light sound effect in this area? But it's seemingly just this freezer. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. Interesting that that made a lot of smoke. But didn't seem like that did anything else. You definitely have a situation here where you can potentially wander around. See, that one doesn't flicker. I bet, if anything, I would guess that's probably a secret door that we can't open until the story has moved for, further along. Um, let's ask a question here. When we do this, does it let us hack those kinds of doors? No, it doesn't. So, these buttons, it kind of feels like you're just going to get back in this area later. And I am kind of feel like you're going to constantly have these guys permanently dead there. So there is a remote upgrade of some sort that I think you have to use because, yeah, it doesn't seem like to me you're going to be able to just use that crypto scanner in a far di distance.
And that makes a lot of sense, certainly, that you would introduce the idea of a upgraded version of your ability as soon as you introduce the fact that you have um, that ability. That way players know that there's more to come and that there's going to be more upgrades. Some of these doors clearly are not not just doors. Some of them are just windows. So at some point we're going to get some kind of cold uh, cold ability I think. Because I don't know any other way to turn off that pressurized gas. Hmm. Or the steam. Hey, yeah, you're not just going to be able to do that. I suppose you could throw a. So there's a door on one side. Wow, you can just really go in circles with this radio controlled thing, can't you? Um, unless it was to go through this electricity and then get electrified which seems to have done something which that's cool and all like, unless I'm supposed to come down There we catch the remote battering. The, the problem here is you're just not going to have a... Yeah, you're not going to be able to pick up trophies and you're not going to be able to scan the trophies, but we do know that that trophy is there. I can't help but say that it was fairly, uh, fairly disappointing of an experience. Like, there, not a lot happened there. Say, I told you it'd work. Blow the bridges, cut off the clouds' forces. Easy. But Mr. Cobblepot, we're stuck too! <laughs> so, we can't get back. And <laughs> your point is... Well, uh, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, this definitely feels like just kind of the wrong voice actor for Cobblepot, but whatever. Seems like they've destroyed some bridges, which probably doesn't really mean much. Like, I don't know what bridges they could have really destroyed. There's a bridge right here, there's roads and things, but I assume this is the one bridge he destroyed and that was it. And so that may have changed our ability to collect one of the uh one of the collectibles. So let's see. Now we could get a sonic um battering as an odd item. But clearly you would want a range amplifier because that's the upgrade. And then maybe you never spend the money to power amplify. That's probably a little redundant. Um, we have visual 
on the explosion. Thermal scans show multiple detonation points. Over. Roger that, AT-3. <laughs> it appears that Mr. Cobblepot has made his move. Leave them to it. Hmm. It will be interesting to witness how things progress as we approach Protocol 10. Hmm. Affirmative. AT-3, continue your patrol. Out. We still haven't really figured out what Protocol 10 is. There's something over here. Because I hear a little Joker sound effect, but whatever. I... The gang war in here is escalating. Penguin started destroying bridges to pin down Joker's mm. crew. Good heavens. I hope you haven't let this get mm. in the way of finding the cure. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of its importance. Alfred still comes off as a jerk. Now. It's Penguin's base in Arkham City. Okay, well, it looks to me like maybe there was a boat th there that is now gone. But I'm having a hard time really seeing much of a difference. Yeah, because that bridge was already up. So there, unless there's another bridge somewhere, like, and see, I could run over there and I could try and hack the few things. Target is lit. I repeat, we have positive on Batman. Hmm. We've lost a camera in sector four. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't think we are at the point yet where it actually makes sense. Like, if we look at gadgets, it seems to me like there's at least a possibility of six and more gadgets that you're going to need um, to unlock things, or at least some upgrades. And then. Like, I guess I could try and run towards this Riddler trophy. But in a lot of ways, I probably should just run towards the... Um, run to the main story and move the main story further along because... Yeah, there's really not a lot happening here. So he just broke yeah, that part of the bridge there, Car that road, which probably just tells you we just that there was the never the a, there, there others, never was any collectibles the there. I think we should wait here. It's too dangerous to move. Penguin, and I ain't saying it was him, but if it was, may have more surprises planned. So? So we chill the hell out and come up with a good plan to teach that midget son of a bitch a lesson and find Freeze. See, that boat's still there. Okay. Look out, it's the bat! Like, I, I just don't even have any desire to fight those guys. Batman in sight. Hmm. He's left us trapped in Joker's territory. I told you we should have joined up with Penguin. If it helps, I think you were right. Yeah, big help. So what now? I'm not scared of these clown fools. I say we lay low, take out as many of them as we can. If Penguin wins, we tell him what we did, and he'll think we're heroes. And if Joker knows wins, how we got close enough to him, 
Tell him that was part of the plan all along. Okay, but there's no way I'm putting on any makeup. I'm with you there. See, there's a whole bunch of dead people now. Hmm. Which, yeah, that might just be another way in which they... Feel this place if we just worse. leave these guys to fight <laughs> each other, maybe that clears out a lot of these characters, and maybe that's fine. Maybe that's a bad thing, though. It is totally possible that you would have a limited or somewhat limited amount of of just resources and people that you can actually beat up and if you don't have if you don't beat them up quick enough then they'll disappear and then you'll just never have enough XP like, it definitely does feel like we are just rushing through the whole whole game what is this riddle See where the madness I was off taking a leak. begins. Oh yeah, sorry about that. A little while ago, we saw a bunch of penguins crew down there. Why are it's... And then unless there was a story mode increase in my abilities, like taking on four of these guys at the same time, still doesn't really feel like it's something that's particularly easy. See, that was like a max combo of six. Alright, so the riddle at the current moment, is there a way to figure out what riddle that is? Which riddle is highlighted? Do we even know what area we're in? Right, let's see. We are in the amusement district. Man, everything is just on the same menu where it would make a lot more sense to, to have more of a standard uh, standard back button goes to the to the main map and then from there you go can go to the other options and then the pause menu takes you somewhere different this place has taken a turn for the worse is it a little fair for your taste hmm. would an invitation to party like park in his this question can only be look out can you see where the madness began okay that's the one but you can't, you can't mark it. Interesting, there is something at this angle. Something right about here. But it's really, really small, so I'm really, really far away. Subject too small. Would you like an invitation to a party? See, that Maxi Zeus is just another weird character that is from the earlier Batman comics that just really wouldn't make a lot of sense.
so Arkham Island was sold at some point. And apparently that's supposed to be... Alright, we, we immediately want that range upgrade. And then it becomes a question as far as whether we really need this. No, because that just activates the heartbeat ma monitor concept, which was in the first game. And honestly, just more ballistic armor would probably be way more useful. Clearly, we're going to either have to unlock this or get something in the story mode to unlock the rest of these. Hmm. And at this rate, it seems like we are not very quickly going to run into playing back as Catwoman. Okay. So there is another riddle over this direction. And it's not the Flying Graysons, is it? Because I thought we had already done that one. Zero visual on target. Batman spot. Tigers in the city. Hmm. After disagreeing with Commissioner Gordon over policing of Arkham City, Quincy Sharp announced that a private firm had been commissioned to provide total security solution tiger. Unknown to everyone, but Hugo Strange, each tiger operative was a profiled and implanted with a post hypnotic suggestion that made them unquestionably loyal to him and him alone. Okay, that tells us some backstory. Generally, I would want to see that kind of backstory in dialogue instead of just something you find. Hmm. Let's see. And you really should just be able to highlight this riddle and figure out what riddle that is. Instead of potentially having to. This question can only be answered from an unused. Park in his spot, and you may just get a ticket. Always a shining example of justice. Hmm. Not if you ask me. If you're afraid, don't be. Hmm. She is the root of evil. How can anyone be expected to contain her? Maybe I am. But give it time. Yeah. So, I don't know if we're talking about cannibals in there for sure. or what. So what the hell happened back there? Must have been the penguin. Figure he'd wire the street to blow. Hmm. That's it. I'm gonna kill that ugly midget. Yeah, wait in line. And let's get in it. We will. We just need to hmm. figure out if he's left any more surprises for us. You think there's more bombs? Who knows? Screw it. Let's just wait here and see what happens next. Yeah. And see, so you, you really could just cheat this whole thing. Like, you, you totally could just cheat this whole thing and look around, and then if it says subject is too small, then you know you're looking in the right direction. Yeah, it says that the Red Lawyer's puzzle is right here. Well, 
which either means it's on this wall Subject out of view. No subject detected. No subject detected. No subject detected. See, I, I don't even know what riddle I'm trying to solve, so how in the world would I be able to solve it? You, you definitely have a problem where... It's up here somewhere. Already solved. Subject too small. Hmm. See, that's clearly the tallest building there. And that, that's where we're gonna wanna glide from. Hugo Strange. I wonder if maybe this is just marked inaccurately let's just go this way why do they keep finding these creeps feels like we should have an increased zoom on the views. Hmm. I hate that Ivy Witch. Right. Well, it gives me the creeps and some kind of weird rash every time I go near her plants. Definitely feels like there's Only that one bridge that's been blown up. DA campaign special. So we're looking for a Harvey Dent poster somewhere. See, these are political there are prisoners. more and more of the Joker's guys coming into this area. I don't like it. With that, we beat the crap out of you. And if after that... Huh? Huh? And so this is like a shanty town. Jeez. Where all the political Please, prisoners seem me. to be lining up. So I guess this might be an indicator really of where how many of the political prisoners have you saved uh, and more and more of these guns are are I guess gonna be in the corners But yeah, unless our decryptor can decrypt those guns, which it seems like it can't, we still need an ability around that. So you actually completed <laughs> enough of my challenges. Was it hard? I hope so. Because it is time for a reward. And what's more rewarding than a riddle? Me this. The more there is, 
the less you see. see, see, see. What could I be? Let's see. Darkness makes sense there. So you just have to find a certain amount. Amazing. And you sorry about the mouse cursor, but yeah, I I'm, a reward is to I'm not going to bother to even do this. To, to try and move the mouse every time. Okay. So let's set that as our next objective. Although, let's actually set this as our next objective first. Um, interesting. And this is like Selena Kyle's area where I don't think Batman is ever going to be able to reach in there. It's far from perfect, but she calls it home. So we got another story. Pause now if you want to read it. Hmm. And so then that now we can set that as our next objective. Clearly, we still are in a position where they, they really are just trying to, to make us spend a lot of time uh, like running around looking for collectibles. Uh, that being said, it still doesn't really feel like you should play that way. It feels like it would make a lot more sense just to take on this one guy and hope that it doesn't turn into a full battle just to see if we can get... Let's see... Um... So there's another guy who He's lost his coin. How much do I need to hurt you? You don't. Hmm. I'll talk. That was never in doubt. The only thing that is going to make me sorry is if you can still walk after we're done with you. My friend here has a nasty habit of going too far and killing people mm. when he's just supposed to hurt them. Me? Well, I just like to make sure you remember me. No. <laughs> Come on, please. I didn't mean it. Alright, so we have an assault in progress. Can we find that? Augment. If I was in your position, like I'm hearing so the local bad. surveillance. I don't. In fact, I'm looking forward to what's gonna happen to you if you don't tell me where Two Face went. Please, I don't know. Then I guess this is gonna hurt. Yeah. So is this an assault in progress, or is this just straight up Two Face people? fighting other people like why would I be saving why would I want to save one group versus another group like why would Batman care about that at all visual on target I repeat we have visual on Batman hmm. it's like that took forever to lure it in Visual glitch. Like, 
And I can try and chase after Riddler trophies all I want, but... I... The odds are very low that they aren't ones that I've already collected, which means... Really, I'm going to just... Possibly be able to move... To the next... Person that's been kidnapped, and that's it. And then I'll have to move the story a lot further along. Maybe we'll run into some Must have been penguin. Makes sense. some more difficult puzzles and I won't be able to hack so them without an upgrade rats. at that point, but Hell, I suspect no. in this case no, that's not really no. what's going to happen. You know him and and that's one way of instead we'll, yeah, we'll probably be able to just to pull this off. So he bends forward a little bit when he uses the crypto scanner. Cameras everywhere. They can see everything we do. But it's like so you have to be in detective mode. Either that. Nope. I guess it was just you needed to break it first. You can definitely tell that there's there's a problem with these fuse boxes and the hacking terminals looking too similar. Like we got another story. Still have plenty of room for more characters. Like it feels like you could easily have three robins come show up or just more characters in general it seems really crazy that they sh are showing you like black mask early as a character i wonder if he's a dlc character i know black mask plays a role in the story at some point but i wouldn't be surprised if he actually plays a role uh in the next game Ain't over. Hmm. No way. Okay. Wonder if the scarecrow made it here. Every other freak did. <laughs> I'll just knock the guy off the edge. A lot of games would not have allowed that. It just wouldn't have been programmed to do it and they would have just hit an invisible wall. Yeah, this definitely feels like this might be a case where the game is much better if you just run through the main story and then it, like the first game, just tells you you're about to fight the final boss and that's the point in which you are supposed to run around the open world. Although I would say that was kind of a mistake even in the first game because I spent probably two or three extra hours at the end of the game for no reason roll up, collecting roll collectibles. Up, it's time for my latest game. When ideally you'd want to collect the collectibles and upgrades as quickly as possible or at least moderately quickly throughout the entirety of the in entire game. Pressure brace switch to control puzzles and machinery. That's called a Riddler switch. That's so it's going to be the question marks. And then this is the door we came in. And... 
seems like this area is just blocked off permanently. So we've Trophy! got the guy. All you need to do is keep your eyes on the prize. Okay. So, yeah, that was kind of difficult to pay attention to. But wait a minute, wouldn't I just be able to cheat this with the bat vision? Anyways? Roll up, roll up, roll up. It's time for my latest game. Like, it kind of sucks to potentially die uh, just because you made a mistake. Ah, Keep your eyes he open, cheated. So I did pick the right thing. Take your pick, Batman. Shall we see if you were right? What? No. How did you do that? Batman, over here! Get me out of this thing! So yeah, he straight up cheated, and this is just, I guess, You're a reminder now, to use Thank you. detective mode I it was way die more back there. than I'd like code, to. Right? Yeah, it's eight six zero one two zero. He said something about it helping you. It will. Stay here. They really failed to address the issue here, uh, though. Which is that detective mode should have been rethought and redone. Is someone trying to locate a hostage before they found enough of my secrets? I hope not. There's no way you could have solved that one, Batman. Even I could. You must have cheated. Consider this a warning. From here on in, it gets harder. See, I don't think there's really anything else in this room. Or any real reason to talk to this guy. Let's just see what he Thanks says. Thanks for the help back there. He's just gonna have like a simple line of dialogue, and in a line of dialogue like that, um, could be reused on a political prisoner, and people wouldn't even really recognize it as being a reused line of dialogue, just from the exact same voice actor being attributed to a different character augmented reality yeah I guess we'll shoot for this direction as we work our way this way but honestly augmented reality training online we probably should be shooting for something more in this direction um See, we, we keep getting the same prompts. They go crazy. Could have sworn I saw some kind of ninja over there. Hmm. Ninja? Wait a minute. Let's let's go back for that. The Is there a Watcher character somewhere that that we could find? Where is Freeze hiding? We don't know. 
Hmm. If there is a ninja character... He's either not showing up on my scanners and my bat detective mode. We do want to find that watcher character. If if there is a way to actually find him. Clowns checking out. Man. Pop in on the graphics is not good. That is definitely something of importance. You have this marked in white. If the scarecrow made it here. Every other freak did. See, this is this is Crime Alley. This is where your parents died. Hmm. How does it feel, Wayne? to stand on the very stones that ran with your parents' blood. Do you feel sad? Full of rage? Or does that outfit help bury your feelings? Hiding your true self? Oh, it's like snowing you on you. The extraordinary specimen. I look forward to breaking you. Hmm. And so you just stay there. I thought maybe that would cause some kind of hallucination sequence or something. So that is just like some special hey, you found you found the place. Which theoretically this should be somewhere close to the back door of the theater. Um and so there should be a theater somewhere around here. Hmm. Which pain will it take you to remember? Hmm. I can't help you. You've got to believe me. I think there is something to be said about the fact that in the one of the Batman movies, one of the early, early Batman movies, where you had Uma Thurman. I, think, I don't think it was Uma Thurman, but you you had an actress like Mr. In, in a cat suit. That was. A pretty attractive depiction of Catwoman without showing a lot of cleavage. Six legs came in, only two came out. So, I. It's kind of a silly argument to make to say that there's much of a difference there, but. Sometimes less is more. You, you don't, I don't know have to is, just make make as much okay. cleavage as Not you can word. get away with. Thank God. Earn him some more and then let him go. What? We need to know you'll come back. This way you'll know what's waiting if you try and screw us over. There we go. More dialogue if you want to read that. Ace Chemicals. You ran away after Batman and Catwoman kicked his ass, remember? That's just what he wants hmm. these jumps to think. He'll be back. And until then, we wait and watch. It seems like they painted this with a question mark specifically so that you could know that there was actually two things in that area make it a little bit easier know who's got freeze. Yes, yes. Please just stop hitting me. Hmm. See, and that's where we saw the ninja guy before. So I would assume I'm not highly likely to see him really close to that. So 
What's the plan? I say we go down there and kill the sons of bitches. Teach them a lesson for going anywhere near the court. Not so fast. Let's see. We don't know how many more of them there are. I don't care. I'm not chicken, are you? No, but I like breathing. How do you know Joker's guys aren't all fitted with all those venom things from the asylum? Hmm. What venom things? Joker had this chemical crap. He injected into a bunch of his guys. Augmented reality months. training activated. Okay. Seriously? How so. the hell did you miss that? It was on the news. It was in the papers. My mother sent me a link. How come you missed it? I don't know. So let me get this straight. You telling me that augmented reality training failed. Yeah, the only thing I could think is you're yes. supposed to. Then I say we wait like, I don't, I don't even know how that third ring. Work. I'll let you know, I swear. Augmented reality training activated. Alright. Jump. Dive. Pull up. Fly around. I don't care where you've gone. I'll find you someday and kick the living crap out of you. Pull up. Augmented reality training failed. Okay. They just put this in the wrong area. Reality training failed. So it's just like totally in the way. There's like way too much stuff in the way to do this augmented reality training. So maybe I'm supposed to pull to the right. Wish you could just knock these guys out and off the edge. Lying to me. Stop lying to me. I don't know nothing. Please. Is there Let go of the A button. There's the theater, by the way. Almost certainly there is a riddle around taking a picture of the Monarch Theater. But the problem here is I still really just want to push the buttons and smash the buttons and there is just kind of like an awkwardly timed uh, that that was poorly animated. Uh, there's just kind of an awkward, awkwardly timed experience. Hmm. Yeah. I thought Sharp was the one in charge of Gotham. It How seems to me what really strange. happened here is the Monarch Theater was just an indicator to the Crime Alley indication. Uh, level. Wherever like, you've gone, Batman, I'll fight you. Like, I think we had already scanned this one, too. Don't know 
Yeah. So there is like two different things. guess this this will work if I can just kind of If it were, you could touch Braille. If, if it was, you could touch the gargoyles or float in the air. That would be slightly different experience. But to not be able to touch anything and have a time limit and have a situation here where it seems fairly easy to end up crashing into just like the wrong place. I'm gonna try and pull to the right and reality training failed. Not crash. This doesn't just feel well designed, really. Like either there's some ability we're missing or it's not it's just not really thought through. Sadly, that put me right in this fight, but whatever. And I've kind of given up on trying to do the whole critical hit things, which probably would help. trying to do is do the explosives but all right let's let's just get out of here now see will that refill my health at all if I wait a little bit it almost feels like there should be a sit down ability.
See, yeah, you don't really refill health any in any reasonable amount of time. Even if that was the case. Where's the boss? Who knows? Batman came in here and kicked There's his ass. September. And so no we have way, like a huge number awesome of people. Push the plan to have Batman kick him around the room and leave him hanging over the acid tank? Must have been. Look, we just need to sit tight in here. When Two Face comes back, he'll have a plan and we can take this place back for ourselves. Screw Joker. Screw Penguin. All hail Two Face. Take it easy, man. See, yeah, that's the circuit circuit box. One of those high five moments. It's not. And there's just a lot of people there. I may very well have been able to. I, I may very well have been able to pull this off if I can just get the right angle. Hmm. Okay, I think. The trick here may be crazier than it seems. I think you have to get the electrified battering to go through here. Which, this is totally insane that this very possibly is the solution. That is crazy. But that does establish now what we know. Which is that the electricity elements are specifically designed to... To charge your battering. Hmm. And that got a new character trophy. Clearly, you get certain things for getting certain trophies. And that's the only collectible in this whole area, so it would be kind of silly to try and, say, take out that entire group of people and gain health that way. Alright, so anytime we see electricity, we know there's a battering um, trick, which means there was a battering tr trick in the morgue. And there's still things we can try and do. We did, through lots of struggle, get one of the augmented re reality training done, which means augmented we could go reality. try and do that one. And we could try and do this one and hope that that gives us something that is more useful. But I wouldn't be surprised if what it gives us is just transition abilities that kind of just don't matter. Um, there clearly is still a ton of collectibles. Like, one, we're going to have to get to a point where we play as Catwoman. And I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen fairly quickly as we move the main story forward. Um... But there's 129 Riddler trophies, and that just seems insane unless there is just a lot more in the restricted area or a lot of subway underground areas that still happen. We haven't done anything with the stars either, so we need to move the story to figure that out. Uh, there's 33 more riddles. Um, as we look at more and more items it seems like we still aren't really making huge amounts of progress ballistic armor and combat armor still major focuses for the bat suit as far as actual riddles we still haven't found one where we can do a full upgrade or a full row 
Hmm. And I assume if I run around, I kind of need the game at some point to tell me where all of the Tiger security cameras are. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run around trying to find that last one in every area. And I wonder if at a certain point getting that last one just gives you this one or if that unlocks a final boss fight. Um, and clearly there's a ton of balloons I still haven't found. Which there are balloons in the industrial district on top of the amusement mile. There's still clearly another area. If we went back to the steel mill, there's probably a lot of stuff we could do, but not, we're not quite yet to that point. And you're almost certainly not going to be able to do all of these things uh, until you're later in the game. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if you just don't really ever get to have a great opportunity to do any of any of those things in general. So we also know that the Hugo Strange tapes now are going to be mocking Bruce Wayne slash Batman. And here's that Crime Alley riddle. Each of these riddles do seem to tell you more interesting backstory than the first game because the first game kind of established almost this mystical Arkham craziness crazy story of the person who who first built Arkham Asylum which like that didn't really change anything it, it just kind of made the game um, more of the same well no it, it just didn't add anything to the story really because it was a it was backstory to events that would have happened like potentially hundreds of years before Batman even arrived. And so we now know that when we see these riddle trophies like this, that is a security area with the guns, but that doesn't inherently mean we can't get to it. I still would like to really see where we are as far as percentages, but it, it's just not worth it to exit out and check that. Uh, yep. Yeah. And we keep going late because of just the grindiness and the the high chance of dying and then having to reset in this game where definitely I could see more polish happening where that did not happen and you, you would either respawn at a checkpoint instantaneously or just not die in the first place or you would just not have these difficulty spikes, which we've seen a few of those certainly pop up. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.